Deathless now. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Actually, <clears throat> we have to maintain a positive attitude and we have to show that we can bounce back even from the worst um, the worst positions. So I'm gonna go deathless this game. I will make a prediction right now. Uh, by the way, this game our draft is not that good. We have too much AD. I was thinking about picking AP, but it was kind of late. I mean, the Echo has to carry, but I don't think he will, so... Anyway, we're still aiming for the Deathless, right? We don't give up. We want to show that we have a strong mental and we can bounce back, even when we are slightly tilted. Ah, yeah. As I don't just smite too early. Oh, that's pretty cool though. Please tell me he just dies to me. Thank you. But I kind of want to try the Gore Drinker this game. Mm, this game looks like it's gonna go well. <clears throat> I mean, this game is gonna be very chaotic, I think. A lot of things will happen in this game, but I think it's gonna be like a good thing. Not kick, so I wanna fight. It's important that in this game we are um, um, we have to stay mindful of our goal. Our goal is to not die, and we have to stay mindful of that goal because it's kind of easy to forget and uh, run it down. Especially if I play like me, it's very easy to just run it down. I kind of got my thingy cancelled by the Rack and W, but yeah, like I mentioned, no hope for them. They can't fight. I'm too tanky. Oh, I mean, this is like a completely different case. <laughs> my team is ending now. If diving this guy's wait, what? How did Ezreal die there? How the fuck did he get there in the first place? <laughs> yeah, that was a goddamn. Okay, th 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 there's a lot of confusing th th things that that happened there. That's cool. It's quite interesting because I don't think we should be losing this because we have more people than they do. So I'm surprised that like we are the ones that have to run. Slightly misplayed my me, I think. Oh. 
now they're kind of all dead, I think. I mean, they might just give it up. I think that's probably a better idea for them to give it up and fight for the next one. If he can actually land the E Oh shit Just have to join Very, 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 oh. That's very, very important, oh. We can probably tank it as well. Seems like they can't really deal with the set as well, he's super tanky too. Okay, that should be the game. They 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 can't they can't win anymore, I think. That's it, I think. That is Ocean Soul and Nashor for our team, and we are playing pretty tanky team comp as well. So I don't know how do they fight us. Oh they just I went deathless. And I would like you guys to boink the mods again, because the mods did not make the bad of me going deathless. Hey Ankos, what do you think there is such a huge jump gap in you 2 versus the rest and what can you do to catch up? Oh, I mean, the jungle gap is big because European players have Yankos and Yankos is so good. That's why the gap is there between Europe and NA and Europe and uh, Asia. Since we don't have sufficient support and solo laners, it may seem like at Worlds, um, Django is actually not playing that well, but I assure you that's not the problem. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I don't think we actually have such a big jungle gap. I th okay, so jungle gap is support gap, support gap is team gap, and jungle gap is also team gap. If you have a bad jungler, most likely he will not do much, but Jungle plays around the team and Jungle is as good as the team allows him to be. So we lost to FPX for example and actually to Damon because of team gap. No, I'm not blaming my team. I'm saying that all of us were not good enough, if that makes sense. Tian happened to be smurfing and Canyon also happened to be playing very well. <laughs> I mean, it sounds so fucking stupid, but it's true. <laughs> like both Tia and Canyon happened to be playing very well, but we as a team didn't play very well, you know? So it's like, if I'm worse player than Tian and I'm worse player than Canyon, but let's say Wunder is better player, Cap is better player, Perix would be better player and Mickey would be better player, then it wouldn't make a difference because we still would be a better team because we play better as a team, but we lost because... We played worse as a team. We had the worst game understanding that also led to us giving up leads. And jungle role is a role that always gets fed when you are winning the game because jungle is the one that plays the map. But you play the map as well as you understand the game. And you understand the game as well as you understand the game with your team and what you want to play for and what is your idea of playing the game. I do think though, if I was playing all up against a FX, that would have been much easier because they couldn't cheese us at level one. So you are just saying that you are waiting to get carried. Basically that, yeah. 
If you won versus FPX, would you have retired? No, I would probably still want to win Worlds. I mean, okay, so I don't know what I would do. I don't know what I would do because I'm just a fucking player, you know? I, I didn't win. So I don't know what I would do if I would win. Maybe I would retire or maybe I would keep pushing for another champion title. Yeah, I watched the play on Reddit. I watched the play on Reddit while it was live, I think. I mean, definitely SKT looks better when Vaker plays, right? But I also think that like Korea has Gen G, WG, DWG, right? SKT maybe now. And like DRX is supposed to be there, but like they don't have that good teams, you know?